Hello students, I wanted to provide a quick instructional video on how to complete the Excel practice exam. So right here, I've got the file already downloaded from Blackboard. I'm going to open it up. Now the first thing that I want to bring to your attention is that the worksheet shown may not be the only worksheets. I want to navigate all the way back using this button right here in the lower left to get to the first sheet, which I've labeled Sheet 1. So here's the sheet. You're going to come down here and complete these instructions. I highly suggest what you do is as you complete an instruction, go ahead and highlight it so it's done. So, you know, change the sheet name to Contoso. There we go. Then move on accordingly. Now, again, this is practice, but it is a quiz. I expect you to turn this in four points. What I will be grading is all the ones that, of course, have your work on them. Okay, so you're going to complete the Contoso sheet. You can then look and make sure your answers are correct. Here is a vertical uh, formula. So in here you're going to sum, average, min, max, and count, and make sure that when you average, you don't include the sum in there. Okay, so you're going to want to just sum this range, average this range, including the blanks. Okay, because someone might come back if this was incomplete data and put data in there, you'd want to make sure that your formula is adjusted dynamically. There's the answers for you. Some horizontal work. As you can see, you're going to have to do all these independently because the range changes. But here, you could just complete the top five and then fill down at least to that area right there. That'll quicken this assignment for you. But if you want the practice, you can do them individually as well. But there's a lot of practice here for you. Finally, formulas and formatting. So you're going to format and do some formulas to make that chart look like this, a lot more presentable with some sums and finding revenues per patient. Um, here are some payments. Notice that these top ones are monthly. So you're going to create a monthly payment, find the monthly payment using the payment function for monthly, and then notice here quarterly. So what is it that we need to change here to do quarterly payments over monthly payments? That's for you to figure out. Here's the answers. And then finally this week you will have done a charting assignment for charting data in Excel. It's a great way to graphically represent your information in Excel, make it quicker to read, find out you know which which month was the top dollar value, etc. So make sure you have completed the homework before you complete the quiz. There are the charts that you're going to be creating. And there you go. Have a good one.